Hello everyone. Scruffy looking RGV here. Taking a walk through Akihabara at some places that I have not gone to before. What is up show? Good to see you in here. You are right in there. Awesome. Good to see you. Welcome, the four of you that are in here. And the one that already gave me a like, awesome. Don't forget to like it up. Danny A1F, what's up, dude? Good to see you in here. I am in Akihabara today, and I thought I'd take you on a walk. What's up, show? Through uh, one of my favorite shrines here that's just right behind Akihabara. It's called um, Kanda Myojin. And it is just this humongous shrine, excuse the wind windy as heck today but it is beautiful so if you need to turn down your volume go ahead and do that i'm going to take you walking through here and then we're going to head on over to akihabara and check out some games so without further ado let's get scruffy looking so this is an awesome awesome shrine it's been in tokyo for a lot one of the 10 famous shrines in tokyo Hello David, how you doing? Glad you could join us. As you can see, it is a beautiful day, even though maybe the stream is a little choppy. I hope the image is not too bad. One of the famous shrines here I wanted to show you. One of my favorites. It's not, it's windy. Yes, it's getting cold. Tonight it will be colder, but since the sun is shining brightly, it is not so cold right now. It feels really great, actually. As you can see, the shrine, Japanese people come to the shrine and pray. We're getting close to January, which is the um, Shogatsu or New Year's season. Everyone comes to the shrine to pray in New Year's. And uh, a lot of people out today doing some praying. This place is really cool. I love the ornateness of the buildings and things. The structure here was built recently. Edo Culture Complex. It's very cool. A lot of traditional Japanese things in there. They've got a little cafe, little uh, souvenir shops and whatnot. But if you've ever played uh, Kiki's Kiki Kai Kai, you may have seen this guy here. He's one of the seven uh, deities in the Shinto for Japan, and this is uh, Dai, to Dai Kokuten. Yes, and uh, I think I think it's in the first, the second one. They have this this chief Kujin. So. Uh, He's pretty cool. He's supposed to bring you good luck. Kind of looks like Santa. Is kind of like Santa in a way. He's got his big uh, bags that he's sitting on with presents and money. Glad you like it, David, and show. Doing good, JT. Thanks for coming out. Just taking a look around one of my favorite shrines before we go into uh, game hunting. It's a beautiful day here. You see the kids over there getting their pictures taken because in Japan, um, when children are of the ages of three, five, and seven, they bring their kids to the shrine. Um, it's like a celebration. So you see them taking their pictures here and there. I'd like to show you some of the, uh, sh the the talismans that they sell here. If I can, uh, I don't know if you guys that have been to Japan before know about these, but this is uh, another one of the deities, Sano. You write your fortune on the back, 
and then you go and hang it up on the wall over there and it's supposed to bring you good luck throughout the year. Japanese people do this on days after New Year's often and I'm sure you all are familiar with this character. First one to answer who this is gets bragging rights for the rest of the day. You guys know who that is? The guy on the... This, these are called omamori and um, they usually get stuck on students' bags for good luck. Here's a famous character, I think, especially for this shrine. That was Keiroro Gunso from Gundam. And then this is an anime character because we're in uh, Akihabara. This is like a special one that they made just for this shrine, actually. I don't know his name. School Idol Project. Love Live. And these are just, they bring good luck. As you can see, there's a Kitty Chun here too. A lot of cool little ones here and there. Another anime one. Anyone recognize this one? It says Sword Art Online. I don't know if that's an actual series or it's just something. Oh, look at that. That statue I saw earlier, it's like an anime version. Pretty cool. This is brings you good luck. It's Kaiun Omamori. Awesome. If you know the name of the series, that would be awesome. They have all kind of charms here. Rabbits bring good luck here in Japan, especially for a lot of the shrines that have to do with this guy right here. Her name is Asuna. Thank you, David. That's very kind of you. So this shrine too, at certain times of the year, they also have a horse that comes out. It's a little tiny horse, it's really cute. During uh, New Year's. But uh, also, because we are in Akihabara, they have um, a microchip. Those of you modders out there might be interested in this. This is designed like a microchip. I think just because we are in Akihabara, they have these here. It's for safety, security. What's up, Kill9 from Texas? How you doing, man? Good to see you here. Thanks for coming. But yeah, if you guys were interested in those types of things, they have them at all kinds of shrines. We're getting a data error message, so we might get cut short but hopefully not. 10 p.m. in Texas. Is it hot in Texas, my friend? Isn't it always hot in Texas? I actually do have family in Texas. Out in the sticks, actually. This gentleman right here is holding the 357 sign for the kids that are three, five, and seven years old. They come here in little kimonos, like you saw, and get their pictures taken. So, take our walk down the stairway, down beyond yonder, there is Akihabara. Try and check out a few shops here. Hopefully my feed doesn't cut out on us. Thank you all for joining. If you did just join, if you do like it, please uh, hit that thumbs up. I got one so far. Let's see if we can get all 10, since I see 10 of you in here. Live in Austin, awesome. Yes, my cousin lives in Austin. And some others in San Antonio, and some others in lesser known areas, out in the pastures, the cows and the deer. But, as you all can see, it's a beautiful day. Just like to show you a little bit more than games every once in a while. So if you do like seeing that, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button so that I can uh, 
No, it's something you'd like to see again. We'll check out more shrines in the future. There are a few shrines I'd like to show you that I haven't shown you yet. That, you know, a lot of the games that we play are really inspired by Shinto deities and uh, shrines, temples here in Japan, which is really cool. And I didn't really notice that until not too long ago, recently. So, we are getting close to the games, I swear, hopefully. All right, try and get across the street without getting hit by a car. All right. As you can see, There is this humongous school right smack dab in the middle of Akihabara in the back streets. I think it's called Shohei Shogako or Shohei J uh, Elementary School. It looks really, really nice. It was built really steady. This building must be quite old because it's built so nicely. Nice big cinder blocks. You can see. There's their playground and whatnot. A little artwork on the bridge, catwalk. Shohei Dome Plaza. All right, so I think I'm gonna try I'm not going to say yet. Let's just uh, keep going. I don't know where we're going to enter in first. Hopefully get there soon before my data runs out for the month. Speaking of which, I think I'm going to try and get a new data plan so that we can do more live streams. make a U-turn here and go back. Does anyone know where we are, kind of? Retro Mario asks, do you like natto? And the answer to that, my friend, is nope. Sarumaru, what's up, man? Good to see you. Thanks for hanging out. Are you going to be live streaming later today? Hey, hey, everyone, it's Sarumaru. The infamous. Excuse me. Some of your people in here, Sarumaru. Just taking a walk through Akihabara today. As you can see, it's really beautiful. But if you notice, the building to our left. There is loud music, but if you can guess what building that is, do you know what it is? Who can guess where I am? Saru, do you know? Hey Saru, are you, all your guys are in here today. Thanks to you, they come and watch my little old stream. I appreciate the shout outs. 
Speaking of which, if there's anyone in here that doesn't know Sarumaru, go and check out his live streams. He does quite often live streams. How many times a week do you do one, Saru? Like three? At least three. You do lots of streams over the week. Speaking of which, he has some really awesome, uh, here's the manga floor. Some really awesome uh, charms that he's been making. Hadotomo, he calls them. They're really, really cool. But um, go check those out. Good stocking stuffers for you all. Got the idle floor. <sighs> These stairs are killer. <sighs> Sorry for the heavy breathing. CD, DVD game. Here we are. Six floors. We made it. You have this one on a hue card. These are all. Oh, let's check out some FDS games. I'm sure Show doesn't mind. Isaru. Zanak here. Good stuff. Samurai Zone. David, I don't know what I'll buy today. I might not buy anything today. Actually. Zanak, the Zanak, exactly. What are you currently looking for at the moment there, show for FDS? So I know you're in here. And I say FDS, I don't mean female deodorant spray. Mr. Gold? Dracula 2. Pretty cool stuff. You have 60 games to go. How many games are there total exactly? Dracula 2? 1100. What do we have over here? We have Lynx, Boken, and it is going for 5,700. Sorry, the quality is not that great. I'm gonna try and save the prices for you guys. this paton these games are for the famicom disk system david paton i don't know what that is it's 57 bucks 5700 yen pulsar no hikari 2200 yen like an idol type game. 2,000 yen for Risa Yosei Densetsu. Risa's fairy legend. Never seen that one before. 2,000 yen. 
this one is uh, I've seen a few times. Here we have male hen veil. It's going for $19. It's complete. We got Metroid. Megalong, do you have Japan only GameCube games like Robocop, Radier G Generic, or Draymon? Mina de Yubo. Not sure. I haven't checked out the GameCube games like Risa Chan. You know that one show. Awesome. Silvo Gusty, welcome. I haven't seen you before. We have a new a new guest from Argentina. What time is it in Argentina? We got Metroid for 7,200 yen. Wow. I swear, I don't... That seems steep. What else do we have here? We have Fire Bam. For 5,700 yen. I like the artwork on this one. Dandy for 57 bucks-ish. I like that artwork. That's cool. Oh. Here we have, wow. Nice set here. We have, what is it? Yu Yu Ki. The front and back. And it's going complete for 37 bucks. Which is not that bad. I really do like that artwork on this as well. It's pretty cool. Oh, we have some risque content here. Sexy Invaders. Famicom Disk System game for 85 bucks. I don't know if this is officially Nintendo licensed. Probably not. 85 bucks. What else do we have here? Kobayashi Hitomi no. Another risque thing in the bob. Karuta. We have Neko Monogatari. 47. Cleopatra. We have Kid Icarus for 3,500. We have Kage by Natsume for 8,500. This is not a bad one. It's quite expensive though. We have N64 games as well. Kumajo Dracula Real Action Adventure for 39 N64. Pretty cool. Alright. What do we have on Hue Card? Dragon Egg for 5,400. Superstar Soldier to various degrees of condition. This is all C condition. It says it has uh, a little bit of damage to the box and it's going for 3,200 yen. What's up everyone? I hope this Dream is not so bad. Here we got Third Strike Street Fighter on the Dreamcast for 1,900 yen. If you are joining me today, I do apologize. My regularly scheduled game hunting video is taking longer than I expected. So today I'm doing a live stream to make up for that so that you guys have some entertainment today. 
Got Shinmu 2, 2200, complete. And the Dreamcast. Let me check with the chat, see what you guys are going to say. Street Fighter is the best, says David. You might be interested in Detana Twin B for PC Engine. Yes, Kill 9, I think you would be correct. Detana. I did, uh, here's Detana actually. Detana Twin B for 3,500. There's quite a few actually. This is the cheapest one, 3,500. I need to get more, myself some more PC Engine games, although I haven't been able to play it as much. Yes, Kill Dash 9, you know what I like. Roll 14 says PS2 console. Who else? Love Kid Icarus, but man, that game is very tough. I agree. There's like 20 ish hentai level games for the console. However, so show, are you including the hentai games in your collection? Okay, so Dragon Spirit. Another nice shoot em up. It's going for 1600 about 16 bucks. We have Akuma Joe Denset. No, what is this? Makyo Denset. So, Evil Legend. Going for $38. Complete. Just lots of stuff here. Blodia. Never seen that before. On 12 bucks. Shigeno Yume Alice. That is a spendy one. I do like the artwork on that. 9,500 is the cheapest one here. We have 9,500, 1,200, or oh, sorry, 120, 140, 150 for that game. We got Fantasy Zone. 24 bucks. Final Soldier for 27 bucks. You guys were asking me earlier if I'm going to buy anything. If I did buy anything, it would probably be 10 bucks or less. artwork on these games is cool I agree with your show and David what consoles do I have I have pretty much one of everything except I don't have Xbox or Mega Drive I have all the Nintendo's except for Wii and the newest one the switch I don't have I love PC Genjin these are great games Just so expensive 75 bucks for part 3 190 for this one. Why is this one so much? This one must be in way better condition. It's like 190 bucks for that one. This one is also very cool. The electric electrical version. I'm not sure what you call it. Blaze on Bio Cyber Challenge for under 10 bucks. SNES Shump Blaze on Megalon. Thanks for the Osusume or the suggestion. Bonk. Electrical bonk. What is this called exactly? Looks so cool. Very cool one here. I remember, what is it? Vera Payne, a uh, YouTuber, did a shokai on this one on her channel, which she does a really good job. And uh, she did one on this, and I thought ever since I saw that, I've been looking at this one. 110 bucks for that one. P47, 29 bucks, cheapest one. They go up from there. Power Drift. I didn't know they had this on the PC engine. Power Drift for 57 bucks. They have all the PCFX games as well. 
Smash Brothers N64 game expensive in Japan? Not really. It's not really expensive, David. Yuna for PCFX. It's going for 34 bucks. This one I have here is 18 bucks. This anime effects Akazuki Chan Chari Furiku. All right. Some mech games here. PC Engine. 27 bucks for uh, what is this? Out Live. We got R Type. It's about what I see it for everywhere. 15 bucks. Smash Brothers for the N64, David, is that what you're asking? In box or out of box? You got Gunhead for 65. I hear good things about this one. Here's a cheaper one. 49 for Gunhead. Kadash. 34, looks like a good beat em up. Gaia something or other. I do not play PCFX. I do not have a PCFX. Cyber Knight for $19. Got some IRM games here. These look expensive. Saigo no Nindo. Is this like the last ninja? This looks really cool actually. Is this a Ninja Gaiden game? By Irem. It was going for 210 bucks. The cheapest one is going for 60. I'll definitely take the 60 one. That is cool. That is also a hue card. I like, see how we were at the shrine earlier? This is a temple very reminiscent of a deity in Buddhism. This one right here, show. This is a good one. <clears throat> Psycho Chaser, 35 bucks. Really, N64 is ultra rare. I think I have a few copies. I've found it from anywhere between $2 to 10 David, to answer your question, $2 to 10 on the N64, loose, in the box, maybe a little bit more. <clears throat> Here's a good one for all you guys out there. Kyoro-chan Land. This is by Morinaga. They made this game after the character. This little bird-like character here. Yeah, you're welcome, David. Anytime. Show Ninja Spirit. Okay, cool. That is not a Ninja Gaiden game then, I imagine. This is a kind of a rare game here in Japan, made after the chocolate company's logo, or not logo, character. It's pretty fun, actually. Little action platformer, but um, too much for my taste. Just a cool little side note. Yeah, Kill Dash 9, adorable, exactly. I do go for the cute things sometimes. I like the artwork, definitely. Japanese cutie style stuff is cool. Here's another interesting bit of artwork here. We have Ob 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 Obochama. Was a popular anime probably 20 years ago. 2,200 yen for this one. <clears throat> Kuishinbo, which is a famous manga here in Japan about eating, about food. So all you gourmet people out there got to read some Kuishinbo. This must probably like a... interesting. Interesting, interesting. Kind of like a, a novel probably, more like a digital novel type thing, I would imagine. Let's check up on the chat. What have we got here? Ninja Spirit. Okay, cool. I guess I can answer that. Da, 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 da. 
Scott Kitchen. Sorry, I did not see you in here. Welcome, Scott, if you're still around. Look at that. I got 10 likes and 10 people in here. Everyone is helping me out. Thank you. Very cool. We have uh, some Common Rider. Wow, that's an expensive one. I didn't know that. Well, I guess it's in the box. Condition is... So here, we're just, just to take a look at some condition labels. If you haven't checked out my condition label video, please go ahead and check that out. It's in, not in this description, but it will be. So the cassette itself is a class B and the uh, box is C. And uh, the Setsume Show or the manual inside is a C. So the lowest rank here. And uh, so it's B, C and C, 95 bucks this one. Love this artwork. Any fans of the Kamen Rider series out there? And another one of my favorites here. This is really cool. This box of Goemon. Gambare Goemon. Going for 65 bucks in the box. The cassette itself is an A. The box... Sorry. The box is a C. And the manual is also a C. The notes down there say the box and the manual have big damage to them. I like this golden, golden stuff and this kind of this claymation or like cut out work type art is really cool. Real, what? Brand new Smash Brothers game for 2000. That is insane. Original Gumbody Gum one here. In the box, 3,400. What? That is insane. A hundred dollars? I wonder if we're talking about the same Smash Brothers game for N64, right? PCFX Shump Super God Trooper. Really good. Huh. I'll have to look into that one. Thank you, Megalong. I wonder if there, if there is one right down here. Wow, this is a crazy bit of artwork here. The guy in the background looks like he is sweating bullets. $59. Sorry, everyone, I almost dropped you on the floor. My apologies. What is this called? Toho Kenbun Roku. This is an interesting game. It looks like King Penguin from Kirby or Parodius. Interesting stuff. It says Tonan Asia Daigaku Yonkai Se no Toho. Something about Southeast Asian college. Marco Polo. 